Yeah, it was on our radar. Like we decided we were looking at it. We would look at it. Um, and we had looked at a couple of estates and spoken to a few people and got like tips and tricks from, you know, family members that have bought and sort of came for a drive out here one day actually with my auntie who showed me the estate and we thought, oh, it's really pretty out here. I love the view of the Pyramid Mountain. Um, I love like the placement. It's a really like pretty little spot. Um, but it wasn't actually until we um, came out for a drive one day and met up with Janelle who works for Canfrost Homes that we, she kind of like planted the seed that this could actually happen. Um, and she kind of got the balls, balls rolling really quickly and before you knew it, it was all happening, yeah. I pinch myself every time I come home and that's not being like cheesy or anything but it's it's awesome you know like coming from Cairns I was born and raised with both born and raised in Cairns gone away for about sort of 10 11 years and then came home and you know building a house for me and my young family um, to be able to provide for them is is an unreal feeling um, you know every time I drive into the driveway I open up the garage door and walk into the home it's um, it's a surreal feeling. Uh, we, we're only here, we've only been here for like a couple of months, so we're still getting used to it. And um, to be a first home buyer, buyer through Camp Forest Homes is, um, is an amazing experience. I think um, Stevie actually referred to it as the house because we would like drive here nearly like every day. <laughs> In the <laughs> afternoons, I'd like pick them up from school and we'd do like a drive by. I swear the neighbors were like over us. But, um, so I think she was a little bit like the littlest one was taken back when we actually like got the keys and came here because she was like the house, the house. And we actually like walked in and she got to like, yeah, they were sort of like, I don't think it sort of hit them what was actually happening. Yeah. And then they're sort of like settling into it now and they're realizing this is our house and they're loving it. Yeah. But I think the first like week they were like, we're in someone else's house. Yeah. <laughs> like this is in our house. Yeah. It's, um, it's beautiful out here. We actually really love it. It wasn't on our radar when we were first looking for houses. I think um, I grew up south side, so I grew up out of Goldsboro, so I kind of was like, oh, I don't know if I want to head out south side again. I kind of wanted to try a different, like, um, suburb in Cairns, I guess. Um, but we are like, it's actually a bigger surprise of how much we love it than we thought we would. We Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like, it's still untouched a little bit. It's sort of out of Edmonton a little. So we've got all the beautiful mountains and sort of still the cane fields around us. So it's still quite like untouched and a bit of being like out of town and it's like quiet. And I do love the little basketball court in the playground as well. Cause that um, kind of reminds us of Sydney when we lived in Sydney a little bit. You've yeah. got each sort of suburb will have their little playgrounds and their local cafe or, so it kind of reminds us of Sydney as well a little bit. Um, so yeah, we, we're loving it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's pretty quiet. Um, you know, the neighbors are all friendly. You know, everyone here is a nice vibe and a nice energy around here. Um, you sort of pick up on that when we were doing our little drive-bys while the house was getting um, um, built. So yeah, we, we use the um, the playground and the basketball court and that little um, grass area patch. I think it's called the Mamu Link Park, um, a fair bit. Uh, we had our daughter's eighth birthday down there um, just because it has everything and it's like two two minute walk away so um, yeah it, it's a it's a nice little neighborhood um, we've got McKillop um, behind us the the school there and um, the kindergarten here down the road so it's it's pretty much got everything that you need um, and it's only you know just sort of behind Edmonton so we do feel a bit tucked away and sort of like you know it, it's a lot quieter out here And yeah, that's, you know, when we were deciding, we were like, just get a brand new home so everything's new and don't have to do any renovations or anything like that. We can just come home and chill out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and we're a busy, busy family with yeah. Jaden's football and we both work full time. So I think the maintenance of like an older style home for us wasn't really on the option, it wasn't an option. It's perfect for us right now. I think I love the kitchen and the living space. Um, we, I think we like were sold on the butler's pantry because it, it um, sort of opens up into the outdoor setting area, which was really cool. We just could picture like family coming over and our friends coming over and having like cheese and wine and whatever out there. So I definitely think the open plan um, in the living and the kitchen was like my favorite, yeah. I feel like it's a really spacious home. Like I feel like if we wanted to be here long-term, it would work. Um, mm. We've got the four rooms, which 
is great. We've got the girls sleeping or sharing a room at the moment. So we've got a playroom and a spare room. So, you know, if more kids come down the track, you know, I'm sure we can um, mm. swap it all up and, you know, get rid of a playroom or, you know, whatever. We've got options. We've got plenty of room, yeah. Perfect for like when family visit too mm. and, and we have friends over. Um, you have that spare room, but you know, four bedrooms is, is you know, you got that extra room plenty, there. So yeah. plenty, plenty of space. Um, yeah, especially if, you know, family you want to come and visit and are in town, so.